Hi guys, welcome to my channel on investing and economic topics. Today I'd like to talk about one of the biggest pyramid schemes in crypto called Novatech. But before that, let's back up and imagine a scenario. What if you woke up today and decided to start your own pyramid scheme? What would you need to do? The first step in the process is to recruit a bunch of members to invest in the scheme. Let's say it's a cryptocurrency scheme or some other product. You take some of their money and instruct them to recruit new members for the scheme. Members from the step 1 go and recruit new members. You give some money to members from step 1 for their work and pocket the rest. Then folks from step 2 find new members and the process goes on until something goes wrong. Many multi-level marketing schemes result resemble pyramid schemes, but there is one crucial difference, and that is they sell some sort of product, be it nutritional supplements or cosmetics or something else. In pyramid schemes there is really no product to be sold. Instead, people who get in early and recruit most members stand to benefit most, while all those people who get in late stand to lose most. Still, to make a pyramid scheme successful, it is key to have some sort of fake product that can be promoted. In the case of Novatech Limited, they allegedly chose fake cryptocurrency trading. Novatech likely stands as one of the largest crypto pyramid schemes in 2024. They raised over $650 million from over 200,000 investors, according to the SEC complaint. And by the way, guys, this entire video is my opinion based on information that I found. The thing is, with Novatech, it's still a pending investigation, and many things are allegations rather than proven facts. Novatech was founded and managed by Cynthia and Eddie Petion. The couple operated the company from 2019 to 2023. Their idea was to get funds from others and make money by trading with these funds on crypto and forex markets. But there was barely any trading happening according to the SEC complaint. The complaint alleges that most funds were used to pay commissions to its promoters, while a chunk of it was misappropriated by the couple. In the end, Novatec collapsed and most investors lost their money. Before its collapse, there were a number of red flags though. Cynthia Petion branded herself as the reverend CEO and made religious appeals in her investment pitches. Fine, there's nothing wrong with that. But what was wrong was the promised returns in those investment pitches. They were in the realm of 2-3% to weekly. That is huge! The thing is, with 2-3%, they compound into hundreds of percent per year. And I don't think even Warren Buffett was able to pull it off on a consistent basis. When it sounds too good to be true, it's probably not true. The SEC attempted to rebuild training activity of Novatech in the absence of records from the company. The complaint states that Novatech appears to have traded only a small fraction of investors' funds. Instead, the company likely incurred trading losses for the most part. The second red flag with Novatech was how they promoted themselves. They often call themselves as registered hedge fund, while in reality, they were never registered with the SEC or any other financial regulatory organization in the US. The principal office was registered in St. Vincent and Grenadines. This country is known as an offshore tax haven. The government in this country does not regulate or license forex brokers. So in the case of Novatech, their claims of being a registered hedge fund in the US were allegedly not true. The third red flag had to do with the history of Cynthia and Eddie Petion. Before 2018, they were involved with another alleged crypto mining scheme with a company called AWS Mining PTI. The Cynthia and Eddie Petion were the top promoters of this company in the US before 2018. But in 2018, the state of Texas issued a cease and desist order to AWS Mining. Texas demanded the company to stop offering investment products there because they were in violation of securities laws. 
After AWS mining collapsed or got renamed, the Patreons quickly distanced themselves from AWS mining. According to the SEC complaint, they chose to blame AWS mining's founders for everything. The ironic thing is that they started Novatech right after that, doing somewhat similar questionable things. Other red flags also were there, but required some digging and research. Specifically, the Patreons filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy in 2011. Also, either Cynthia or her husband were involved in lawsuits that alleged failure to repay loans. Well, anyone can go bankrupt or get involved in financial lawsuits, things happen. But it's a different matter if you're selling investment products to the public in the US. If you're doing so, you must disclose these matters to investors, which Patreons failed to do. Finally, more evident red flags started piling up on Novatech's plate around 2022. First was the Central Bank of Russia. In August of 2022, Russian authorities they issued fraud warning to Novatech. Next were regulatory organizations from Canada and the US. In October of 2022, the company received a fraud warning from the British Columbia Securities Commission, or BCSC. The BCSC alleged that Novatech was doing unregistered investment trading and distribution. Then came warnings from California and Wisconsin, alleging similar issues. Of course, Novatech ignored or brushed these warnings aside. At the same time, Novatech's customers began experiencing problems with funds withdrawals in 2022. This somewhat culminated with a blanket 60-day ban on any withdrawals in February of 2023. Probably many people woke up to the possibility of losing their money and ran for the exit at the same time. At the end of March of 2023, Novatech made an announcement to the back office regarding withdrawals. Withdrawals were allowed but with severe restrictions to the frequency and amount. Things do not last long from there. On May 11, 2023, Novatech halted its operations, disabling its website. After that, no one was able to withdraw anything. At the end of the day, many investors were left with massive losses that will not be easy to recover. The ironic thing is that the SEC complaint implicates many other top members of Novatech. These people promoted this company to others despite knowing about these red flags. Here's a relevant excerpt from the complaint. It is a direct quote from Marsha Hadley, who was the top promoter of Novatech. In her 2022 presentation to prospective investors of Novatech, she says, Those of you that's in the stock market, stocks were going down, down, down like crazy. Cryptocurrency was going down, down, down like crazy. And then, as we look at it, we still came out on top. Novatech, we had 1.85% profit. Okay, sign me up all day, every day. Praising Novatech, she continues, wait a second. So we are not doing any trading at all. We don't have to have any knowledge of cryptocurrency or trading. The experts is doing everything. We get paid every Friday. Who would want to cancel? Red flags all over the place. But who wants to cancel? Well, probably not the one who stands to benefit from it all. And that is it for this video, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day and this video will help you to avoid various scams. Please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more content on investing and other interesting economic topics. Thank you for watching.